Peace be to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health education specialist. Um, I wanted to share with you all my reasons for becoming a physician assistant or even deciding on a career in medicine. As I would say, uh, this God chose me for medicine, number one. But uh, number two, I really wanted to um, become a biologist. You know, when I was a kid, um, I, I would study nature books. I would watch these uh, nature shows. There was one called, what was it? Uh, Animal Kingdom, The Wild Kingdom, hosted by this man named Lauren Green. Uh, it was sponsored by this company called Mutual of Omaha. And man, I used to watch that like all the time. And then um, National Geographic had these nature specials. I, you know, I grew up in, I'm a Washingtonian, so I grew up in D.C. And my parents would take me to these museums, the Museum of Natural History, the uh, uh, National Geographic Museum, Nature Centers, Rock Creek Park. So I was inundated with, with nature and um, kind of the, the uh, study of the science of, of um, one's ecosystem. So I, it was really a passion for me. I didn't know what field... I wanted to study of, of uh, biology at the time, but it was called naturalist. So that's really kind of, um, you know, like, like uh, Charles Darwin did this. So he would study how the various flora and fauna interacted with each other within their ecosystem. So that's really what I enjoyed as a child, and that's, that's what I wanted to do as a career. Um, as I got older, I noticed a lot of things like uh, kind of social injustices around me. Uh, my dad was a, a sociology major in college, and uh, he, was, he was very active in, in his community in terms of setting up breakfast programs. And so I, I grew up hearing about you know, how to, you know, the importance of taking care of people who were, who were on maybe the uh, out, outer limits of society. You know, people who are who are often um, uh, neglected by society. Not just um, different um, uh, racial groups, but uh, you know, poor folks and and uh, different genders, and you know, people who didn't always have advocates. So I grew up with this this sense of um, of responsibility to your fellow man slash woman, but. Um, I, I couldn't really justify pursuing a career in, in um, nature when there were so many people that, that went homeless and so many folks that were poor and went hungry. So that, that's why I was encouraged to pursue a career in medicine. And I did get accepted to graduate school. I got accepted to um, Howard University um, school of uh, Genetics, and I was going to pursue at least a master's degree in genetics. I was very fascinated in this concept of um, its, its uh, phenotypic expression of genetic variation. So how we all look and how different creatures and organisms look based on their genetic variation. It, that, that really fascinated me. And I had, I had a foray into uh, genetic counseling you know, it's a good friend of mine, um, uh, Imam Jahari, uh, who I, I met when I think he was a, uh, a graduate student at Howard, and uh, Dr. Burka, you know, some other people that were really geneticists in, um, in that field. But um, I, I got accepted to um, PA school after being rejected from medical school. So, you know, the, the PA field actually has given me a chance to, to uh, you know, serve my fellow man in a medical capacity. But also, I also have time to uh, divulge in, um, in the sciences. So I'm working on something called the, uh, a, a Master Naturalist. This is through the, uh, the Audubon Society, which is not too far from where I live. And I've set up um, a boys tutorial group, it's the uh, the Boys International Science Club, so we can further uh, study these things.
you know, the world around us. So being a PA, I've been able to uh, do different things also. Whereas, you know, being an MD, I might not have the time to be able to divulge in those other fields. But, you know, medicine, medicine is, um, to me, it's, it's a privilege to practice it. There's something I find very satisfying about allaying the concerns of, of my patients and their family members. I spend a long time with this, um, with this woman and talking about her, her husband. Her husband's very sick. He's got respiratory failure. She had questions. She's like, is he going to be okay? And I was kind of like, well, not really. But, you know, we can give him dignity and we can give him, um, make him comfortable. You know, as, as he transitions from this life, is he going to get markedly better from, uh, from where he is now? Not likely, you know, barring a miracle. But, um, we, you know, we, we can do what we can within the confines of medicine to, um, to help him. I, 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 don't like to, I try not to use the word die too much with, with uh, certain patients and their family members. They, they don't really like that. Or, or poor prognosis. I think I've got pretty good bedside manner, so I've been told. But to me, that's kind of like being a superhero. You know, this is uh, my uh, my cape and cowl like Batman. And that's that's one of the reasons why I chose medicine also. It's a good field. So I'm going to uh, leave now. I'm actually getting off. It's, it's, <laughs> it's still light outside. I'm, I'm very tired. We're actually in the end month of the month of Ramadan and one of the things that Muslims do is spend the night uh, in, in itikaf or a seclusion in the masjid as much as possible for the last 10 nights. So last night I was uh, at, a, at a local masjid in itikaf and you try to pray and, and read Quran but it could be exhausting having to go to work the next day. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to do it again tonight and then come back to work tomorrow, inshallah, God willing. But I hope you found this useful. If you are interested in a career in medicine, uh, becoming a physician assistant like myself or a health education specialist or any other uh, career in allied health, I'd invite you to subscribe to my channel. There's many better channels out there. You know, people have really put a lot into um, developing their YouTube channels. Um, so you can subscribe to them as, as well. But you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the best of success in your positive endeavors, and I grant you all peace. Take care.